Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to look at QuantumScape stock. The innovative solid state battery technology developer has yet to generate any revenue, but it's got excellent prospects if it can achieve this breakthrough technology, get it into market and start generating sales. So in this video, I'm going to answer if QuantumScape stock is a buy, sell or a hold. So let's jump right into it, starting with, and I purposely showed this screen here with QuantumScape and its revenue. You could see it blank there because it has no revenue. It's a pre-revenue company. It's still investing in the technology, in the solid state battery technology and getting it ready to put it out in market. So it's not yet ready to be put out to market to make sales to generate revenue. However, the opportunity is massive if QuantumScape can get this right because right now we still have less than 10% of worldwide vehicle sales are electric vehicles. One of the reasons why people hesitate to buy an electric vehicle is because how long it takes to charge. That's one of the big sticking points because compared to filling up gas in your car, charging your car takes multiple times longer. And so if QuantumScape achieves this breakthrough technology, it could reduce charging times I've heard by more than half. And so that could be something that could spur more electric vehicle sales, which would then put QuantumScape's products in more demand and it could feed this positive virtuous cycle that could really boost QuantumScape, but it's just not there yet. It's just not there yet. It's not even near that point yet. So that's the dilemma investors face with QuantumScape is that it's a lot of potential, but it hasn't yet shown what it could be. So with a company like this, what I like to look at is how much cash is it going through every quarter? What's the cash flow from operations? And with QuantumScape, it's just been heading in the, in the wrong direction. It's spending more and more money. And that's understandable because it's not generating sales. So all the money that it's spending is just putting the company negative. If there were sales, it would offset some of this investment in research and development, in overhead, and all the other expenses the co a company must endure. However, in the most recent quarter, things improved slightly, a loss rate of just of 57.67 million. So when I see a company losing money like this, I next check how much cash they have. So it could tell me how long they have at this rate of cash burn. And so with QuantumScape, cash and equivalents, right, which just looks at cash and things that are close to cash, it's not looking at its other assets. It has 232.8 million. So given its rate of cash burn, it's got about four quarters left before it will run out of cash. And hopefully for investors sake, the company will hit a few more milestones before this point and thereby make it easier for QuantumScape to raise more money because they're going to need to raise more money most likely. But from an investor's perspective, you want the company to be raising money from a position of strength, not a position of desperation. So if QuantumScape hits milestones before that point, it could go to it could go to lenders and it could go to investors and say, look, look what we've achieved. Look what we've achieved so far. If you give us, you know, this four hundred million dollars or five hundred million dollars, it would take us to this next point and it would make themselves more believable to investors because they can say, look, we did this already. If you give us this much money, we could then get to here. And then by that point, hopefully our sales will be bringing cash flow in and we can self sustain the business. Right. So that's what investors should look for from QuantumScape is for the company to hit milestones, make progress. So it's not in a position of desperation and it's in a position of strength when it goes to raise more capital. Finally, I wanted to look at the market capitalization and it's down significantly. I mean, this stock used to have a market cap over $45 billion 
Now it has a market cap of 3.374 billion. And before you start saying, well, it's a bargain now because it's like one tenth of where it used to trade at, I would argue that it should never have been trading at that valuation to begin with. There was a lot of hysteria in the markets in 2020, in 2021 surrounding anything related to electric vehicle stocks, electric vehicle charging. That whole space was just booming with investor enthusiasm and valuations got too high in my opinion. And right now, even at a 3.374 billion valuation, if I was to say, is the stock a buy, hold or a sell? I would say it's more in the range of a hold. It's more in the range of a hold. Yes, it's got incredible potential and incredible prospects, but at the same time, it's also got very high risk and very little revenue and it's burning through a lot of cash. So for those reasons, I would say it would be more prudent to wait for the company to prove more in terms of progress towards building a business around this innovative technology before you jump in and buy this stock. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.